Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here in Los Angeles at the Hotel Cafe with Girl Pool. Avery Harmony, thank you for being here. Thank you for having thank us. Having yeah. Hi. Yeah, it feels really good to be at an actual place and seeing you on an actual stage playing playing music in reality. It's, uh, you know, not, not, not too many opportunities to do that, but here we are, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we're going to hear a lot of your music right now. What do yeah. you guys feel like doing first today? Uh, we're going to be playing the song Pretty um, that I wrote when I was a teenager living in Los Angeles. That is from our last record. Yeah. Right. Cool. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Sounds wonderful in this in this environment. Uh, the uh, the album we were listening to it over breakfast quite a bit, uh, oh, and a lot. I mean, it's wow. 2019. It's it's been out in the world for uh, for a minute now. I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, what chaos is imaginary? The name of the album, and you also released the uh, the demo version of it. Um, can we talk a little bit about the re the uh, decision to put out like the skeleton of those songs that way, and also kind of how it relates, how the demos relate to the way that it sounds here today in this arrangement. Yeah, um, I'm glad you were listening to the, the record this morning. <laughs> That's very sweet. Um, yeah, we just, I guess it was like quarant quarantine kind of just started and we were like thinking of stuff we could just kind of put out. We were kind of in a, st I think a lot of people were in a state of like introspection, you know? 
we definitely both were. And yes. Like processing a lot of like, I don't know, the last many years of being on the move all the time. Yeah. And having like the time to kind of like go back into the old stuff. And we were kind of compiling stuff that we wanted to work on for, you know, our next record. And we were just both going through stuff. And then I think I had the idea or did you? I don't remember. I think it's been tossed around a couple times, but I always felt pretty like anxious about it because my voice has changed and like my, like I transitioned and everything. So like it felt very raw to release and was always something kind of that I like resisted. Like the thought of showing that part of me was just like, why would I want to kind of do that? Like I'd rather, especially in quarantine, cause it was like, like nothing was going on. Why would I want to put something out into the world that felt like the past when there's like all this like, like desire to move forward, but not be able to in kind of a like very tangible way. But anyway, so uh, I don't know. We thought about it for a long time. I like talked about it a lot and thought, it just kind of felt like freeing. I thought that it would be like, um, like my fear about it was that it would like take us back, but it actually like cleared a lot of stuff for me. And I, and I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really powerful. To we out. both felt quite like it was, it was cathartic. Deep, yeah. Cathartic for yeah. us. So yeah, it, it, that was really cool to put out. Yeah. And then playing it now, I guess. I mean, it all just started with us doing this like this really. So, I mean, it's just kind of the root. This is like the most essential form of, I think how we like to play music or whatever. Yeah. And how we began. Nice. Well, we appreciate it very much. The internet appreciates it very much. Uh, I'm glad you had that catharsis. I mean, it's there's something honest and necessary about acknowledging how things were in order to sort of make that space for, for moving forward. So I'm glad that uh, that, that experience happened for you and that you shared it with all of us. And uh, and we're sharing this right now. There's a lot of your music yet to be shared. What's uh, what's coming up second today? Um, higher. Higher. Yeah. Yes. Also off of that last album. So. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay, one, two, three, four.
thank you. This sounds wonderful. Um, we so we talked a little bit about uh, about the past um, and clearing space for for moving forward. And can we talk about what's what's next and where you're at in terms of new songwriting and when uh, there might be new girl pool music to be to be shared with the world? Where are you guys uh, in that process right now? We are in in the midst of making a record. It is happening. I am. It's in motion. It's in motion. When it's going to be out, I think there'll be some new music. As soon as possible. As soon as physically possible. Okay. <laughs> but Where yeah. in the, I mean, so in motion, are you guys in the studio? Are you writing songs? Are you all of the above? We're in the studio. The songs have been written. Most of them are just kind of, we're figuring out the, how they can sound exactly how we want them to. Yeah. They're, they're done and um, we're just enjoying the ride. Mm -hmm. so. The exploration. But we're really yeah. excited. It's, it's coming together. Really exciting music. Yeah. Good, good. Well, I mean, being being busy and having a thing and being inspired and staying healthy enough to be in that creative space is super important. I mean, yeah. not everybody has been able to, to do that and maintain maintain creativity through this. I mean, it's, it's challenging yeah. to stay juiced up and uh, and ready to create stuff and, and share it with the world. Yeah, fully. There's yes. been some ebbs and flows for me during this time in a big way, very intensely. Just yeah. Droughts and then complete fertility creatively, so. Yeah. Right there. Right there. That's the truth. That's the truth. Droughts and fertility. Droughts and fertility. <laughs> the, the, it's the, the album closer, it turns out, of the new music, Droughts and Fertility. <laughs> I think I need my tuner, I think, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank of you. Of course. Should I, I um, and so speaking of the new things, there are a lot of exclusively new things coming up for the rest of this set, right? Yes. Yes, some new new jammers. That's going to... Yes. Never been... Never, never before been, been seen, been heard. Yeah. Um, Excited to share. Do these opportunities give you, I mean, since you're in the process right now, I mean, it has not been committed to, to record yet. Just doing stuff like this, like press opportunities and session stuff, maybe help to like reconceive or rearrange or learn something new about the song before it does get committed to, to history on a record? Yeah. I, I think, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. When now a lot of these songs we've actually already recorded and stuff so they're, they're kind of like the closest ones on the album for us but typically it is very helpful i yeah. think when we run it like this you know so yeah this is the raw the format mm -hmm. right here this is the the equation <laughs> <laughs> yeah um sh let's do it should we do it yeah please okay. love to hear it this is called fault line cool. off of the future music <laughs> future Future, okay. One, two, three, four. Every day it's Friday night. I hold my body like a butcher knife. Smiling for the camera, eyes closed. Doing anything you ask, I suppose. You tell me you would die to breathe me in. Excuse for oxygen 
Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Um, that sounds in. wonderful. How does that feel to, to, is that the first time that's been played in front of people? Yeah. 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 Feels nice. wild. Yeah. Feels thank good. You. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Thanks for doing it here. And we, um, can we talk about the, the remix EP also? So that was, um, you, there's some interesting artists that, uh, that um, reimagined your work. Like what, I mean, how did those relationships form in the first place? They're interesting artists, but also how does it feel to, to have your work reimagined and reinterpreted like that? It was awesome. Um, again, it was kind of like a quarantine, what can we do right now thing, but uh, yeah, we, uh, Aaron from Porches did one. We know him from just back in the day, like New York, uh, touring. Much touring. Lots of touring. Yeah. And then, um, Dev Hines, we met also in New York and yeah. worked on a song with him in the past. And he's a friend. Love. Who we love. And then Lydia. I became a fan of her music because our manager... Our manager also manages her. And I didn't know her work before that, but I got super into it and was like, she would be a really cool person to have, like, reinterpret this. Which was really sick. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was really cool. It's really amazing, like, what people can do with stems. It's kind of shocking. It's really <laughs> cool to hear it, like, yeah. a completely different song. You can make anything. Yeah, from like, anything. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah, and then you got to have the the opposite, like the other side of the table experience of that with the Alanis Morissette song, which we were also listening oh. to over breakfast. I mean, that that's awesome to get that opportunity oh to my reimagine God, yeah. her that work was for wild. you guys. I literally haven't heard that since the day we finished <laughs> making it, but it was fun. It was really cool. I'm big big Alanis fan. Big. Yeah, yeah. Did you see Jagged Little Pill? Have you, did you see the the Broadway production? No. no. I need to. Yeah. I think I, that's actually extremely up my alley. It's shocking that I have not gotten into that this is i have to tune a lot yeah we're gonna have to gonna do have mind to if we like do it's some gonna be very audible yeah. yeah 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 audible tuning is great the answer is always take your time to tune all right we're gonna move nice internet and slow the internet will appreciate the tuning process even i hope you all are enjoying this <laughs> this uh this beautiful noise moment noise set moment. this is particularly musical tuning that's happening right now it is I wonder where everybody is dialed in from. Do we have an international crowd? This is directed to the internet. I suppose I'll cut to myself. Hey, can you read us some that. shout outs maybe? Or? Dude, this computer, the one that's doing the live stream is busy live streaming, so I'm not watching the live stream also. Oh, so I'm not shit. looking at the comments, but I will look at them as soon as we wrap and they will be fascinating. They I'm sure are. someone's, one of our moms is present. <laughs> we'll yeah. pull it up on a phone right now actually and take a look. Um, dude, the, the, we've been lucky. I mean, this, the comment section here tends to be a very supportive and happy corner Love of the that. internet, which is obviously That's not great. always That's the case sweet. with comment sections. Cool. Yeah, no Brooklyn vegan vibes. <laughs> rest, rest in peace, Brooklyn vegan comments. This is um, our last tune for today. Also a new one. Never been played. Well, we played it for that. Other oh, we band. did. We played. But it was with a band. Yeah. So this is the first time it's being heard in this method. We tuned it down. I wrote the song in standard tuning. And then when we were recording it, it was very difficult for me to sing. He was suffering. <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. So I was like, let's just bring it down. So that's why. So that's why we had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Two, three. Oh wait, it's called um, Dragging My Life Into a Dream. Yep. It's a new, unreleased girl pool song. Yep. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three, four. I feel you notice me, but I'm just dragging. 
making my life into a dream Dragging my life into a dream Baby, you were right Making up my mind is hard for me Would you drag your life in the hills in my Man, this has been a ton of fun. Avery, thank you. Harmony, thank you. Thank you. Um, and for, for the, the recorded music and for the brand new music, we appreciate it very much. And thank we'll stay you. tuned for when, when it is recorded and out in the world. And hopefully we get to cross paths in whatever city it happens to be, but uh, in the in the not too distant future. So yeah. best of luck. Thanks so much for having thank us you so much. again. Thank you. Really so fun. Of course. All right. See you Bye. guys. Bye.